Dat is toch wel niet wat je denkt, dat is de Portugal. Dat is wel een bomen die hier. Oh ja, quite a lot of noise. Right, up, hola. It's a bit of a weird time at the moment because it's um, we're still in the lockdown and we've actually got to make an appointment for to come and pick the stuff up. And they've got all our stuff ready for us. It's all lying here. We just have to wait until someone comes for to for to actually give it to us and take some money off of us. This is, uh, yeah. Everything that I asked for is, looks like it's here. The um, The MPPT it looks a lot bigger as I thought it would be. Never mind. Hi guys, sorry about the noise. Uh, well, I'm waiting on the engine for and off. Uh, I've just got a few wee jobs I want to do. Obviously, I'm changing over my battery bank. I'm changing over to, to lithium and I have to change my battery storage to suit to lithium batteries and a lead acid for a starting battery for my engine and I need to fit my Easy Solar MPPT from Victor on Energy I'm hoping I can fit it onto that panel on the end the panel is about 74 centimeters high and I'm hoping that that's actually going to fit now this is going to be the next thing so I'm now going to open this box up. I've never actually opened it yet. And have a wee look and just see. It, going by the box, if there's enough packaging and other stuff inside the box, it may just fit. If not, then uh, plan B, which I'm not sure of yet. Okay guys, I've got this out of the packaging and just looking through a little bit of it, uh, the instructions. And I measured it and it's actually 75 centimeters long. And in there, yeah, that end panel is only just 74 and a half, mm, pushing 75 from the top to the bottom. I could remove the paneling above and fit it there, but they recommend it has uh, 10 millimeters, uh, 10 centimeters uh, air gap uh, all the way around for the sake of cooling. Now, I do have an open and vent on the side which I was going to put a fan into to give it more air. The only problem I have is if, I mean to fit it in I won't have 10 centimeters top nor bottom so reading through the manual it actually says, uh, I don't know if you can see this or not, the product is suitable for all mountain for mounting uh, plants can be mounted horizontally as well as vertically. Vertical mountain is preferable. The vertical position offers optimum cooling. Right, now my second thought is mount it on this panel or on this panel because I'll be taking the old uh, 230 system off. So that's my next thought. I might just mount it on this panel here. I think that would work better. Uh, for the cooling and not so good for great for the cabling, but it's at a push. It's fine Anyway, we'll see What I think best once we get there So I'll show you a little bit later I Put the batteries back in the locker I've got uh, I've got a new framework. I'm going to box them in probably Well, that's uh, gel 100 amp gel on the front, that's the starting battery. That's uh, 100 amp lithium next to it. And 100 amp lithium next to it again. Um, I intend to have them all fastened in properly with a, a box around it and a fan at the end with um, thermistor and thermostat so that I can regulate the temperature. Next thing I'm going to do is on this panel here, I'm going to fit this little beauty. Well, not not this part, just this part. This has to, this is a shunt that goes on there and it monitors what your batteries are. Batteries one and two. And next to it, I'm going to fit this little baby. 
Now this is a 12 volt to 12 volt 30 amp inverter, so uh, converter, DC to DC to converter. This, when the battery is getting charged, when this battery here is being charged by the engine, when the engine's running, that senses the power and then feeds to these two lithiums. At the moment they're being charged, by my MPPT which is running on power at the moment I don't have any solar panels connected up to it I used to only have this little machine here which was connected to my wind generator and solar panel I'm going to leave that on as a backup just for the wind generator and uh, see how that works so I'll let you know how we're going well guys, this, uh, the battery monitor is so simple, it's simplicity itself to set up. You just break the negative supply. One goes here, and the other goes here. And then you have two battery monitors. Uh, battery one, battery two. You can probably just see it there. Battery one, positive. Battery two, positive. And it comes with cables to connect that so you don't have to worry about about connecting the, the cables together they're fused as well and the, the gauge is simplicity itself you just have the socket okay, I don't know if we can, yep, yep. the socket there that's for the UTP cable that just plugs straight in and I don't know what size of boat that we thought we were going to fit it onto but uh, yeah I think I'm gonna to have to lose some of this cable somewhere in line because I'm not sure where I'm going to be fitting the gauge but I can, I can basically fit it anywhere I want with that length so we'll see where, where it finally ends up oh guys that's the isolated DC to DC converter it's fitted basically what happens is that senses when the engine is running it takes the power from the starter battery and feeds it through to the house bank so, I would have shot you if I it, but to be honest, it was boring. It's only four screws, fasten it to the wall, and I actually fitted two trip switches, two 60 amp breakers, um, 50 or 60, 50 I think. Anyway, I fitted two breakers, um, the output of that is actually 30 amp, so I fitted two breakers on it, one on the inside, one on the outside, just in case there was any problems with any of the cables that they would trip out and not causing me any fires in there. I've got to tidy the cables up a little bit more and finish off the battery box. Again, the same thing with the shunt. It's just so simple to fit. It's, there's no point making a video of it because I would just bore you. That's my uh, batteries all set into place, all set up for charging, everything is fine. Uh, two lithium 100 amp at the back here and a deep cycle uh, gel battery here, the shunt for the voltage tester, the sensor is here, feeds across the other side, and then we come into the DC to DC converter. This here is the blue smart charger which is set up for the starter battery for when the engine is not running. The engine charger itself is controlled by the Sterling smart charger for the alternator because the alternator is a 90 amp alternator on this and uh, without it there would just be major problems and of course we have easy solar this set up I've boxed all the batteries in made a special box and also put a fan in the back which will work with a thermostat if the batteries reach a certain temperature then the fan cuts in now it looks a little bit um, untidy with all the wires at the moment I was thinking about putting a bus bar in the reason I went against that was everything every charger that you put on to the battery says take it direct to the battery not to bus bars and since I've got three different ways of charging the batteries at the moment plus the engine and 
different things coming from it. I decided just to take everything straight from the battery because they're good bolt-in terminals. I reckon that they're even better than using the crossbar. So that's the reasoning for that. I know it, uh, it may look a little bit untidy at the moment, but when the cover is on, it will be perfect. Unfortunately, I need a new um, thermostat sensor. This one, for some reason, just didn't work right from the off. It's all wired in properly, but uh, I thought I had, I thought I'd bought two. I thought I'd bought a spare one, but I can't, can't actually find it. It's my own fault for buying a cheap one off Amazon. I can't get over it was. It just basically looks like that, but but there should be numbers on the front. So I have to get a new one of those, and then my fan will work perfectly from that. This is the thermistor for sensing the temperature for this little unit that doesn't work. So I've got to get that to sorted out. Anyway, that's uh, it's all working perfectly. My power's coming directly from the machine. Everything's everything's working out great. I'm very very happy with that charger. That one there, the blue smart. That keeps the batteries really perfect, really in good condition. The monitor itself, it's pretty good kind of truth. It's uh, it just sits there, doesn't do much. Lights up, it um, uses a little bit of battery when you light up, but not very very much. It connects beautiful to to Bluetooth, and you can go through all your different different settings. I'll, I even tells you what that's the um, isn't that a starter battery that one the auxiliary so because I've got a set to monitor the house batteries oh, and that's uh, that's how house batteries you know, I've got so much more than I ever had with my, my lead acid using 30% I had two 750 amp now I've got two 100 amps I can use a full 200 amps if I want to. I've got wind. The generator, oh, you can't see it. I've got a wind generator on the back. One generator on the back, and I'm going to have solar panels connected to this, so I should have plenty of power for to run my fridge uh, and anything I need. At the moment, you can see I'm still in the middle of waiting for parts for my engine. This is unbelievable. Uh, hopefully they'll come tomorrow.